Uh, I'm probably just gonna throw it once we get there. There's a guy in the air right here. He's right here. I'm gonna throw it at him. Ready? Get out in three, uh, yeah. two, one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you get out. I didn't know which paddle was my Xbox. <laughs> the <cost of> the <laughs> they don't know you're down. They don't. You're the fucking best. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I just watch <laughs> I watch you just go straight into the freaking <laughs> Bro, I was like looking I was like thinking so hard too like I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is <laughs> like I, I had so much time to process it too bro and I'm still, I'm still trying to figure it out I gave you the the, the firm <laughs> heads up and everything alright so just uh, I'll just hit you with a very vague there's a guy right in front of us cracked one Okay. He said, whoa! <laughs> I came jumping crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll start with a very vague question. In your experience as a student athlete, what's like a, a life lesson you've learned? For me, I would definitely say like discipline, man. Like, yeah, it's like a pretty, like, I would say it's like a common thing that people love to talk about, but it's something that has, I've been able to see the, I've been able to like reap the the benefits of being disciplined and there have been times where I haven't been disciplined. I'm not gonna sit here and try to lie and act like I'm somebody I'm not. No doubt, yeah. And I've seen those I've seen that turn into just the not the best things, you know. So it's I've just learned that discipline. That's good, bro. Have you ever heard of um Jocko Willink? One more time? Jocko Willink. Have you ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. Not off the top of my head. Okay, so he's uh, actually a podcaster, um, a former Navy SEAL who did a couple tours in Ramadi, uh, Iraq. And basically, um, he wrote a book. He wrote a, a bunch of books, actually. I'm reading one currently called Extreme Ownership. And that one's about leadership. But he also wrote a book called Discipline Equals Freedom. He kind of gives an example like... If you were to ask somebody, how do you become disciplined in your life? Like, he starts by saying, like, getting up early is, like, the number one thing you can do. Right. And, and, like, he says, setting your alarm early in the morning. Like, I think he gets up at something crazy, like, 4.30 a.m. But yeah. if, if you even started getting up super early, like, 5 or 6 a.m., and you set your alarm, he says, make sure you don't hit the, the snooze button. Mm. He says the snooze button is a killer to your dreams, basically, because it's a it's an act of, you know, not being disciplined, essentially. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like practicing, I've learned from him that practicing discipline is like one of the most important things you can you can use to your advantage in your daily life, you know. Other one's not too. I bet this one has a self. Yeah, yeah he has a self. Second one, dude. Got him. Yeah. That's, I think that's huge. Like, that's something that I've learned from, like, just when I was at uh, UConn, um, Coach Smith used to tell us to make our bed every morning. Like, that's something so mm. small. Yeah. And, like, looking looking back on it, that's something that's built such a discipline to me. To this day, I still make my bed every single day. Like, I still... Every single day, I just showed the camera my bed. Learning how to build that discipline, not only be disciplined, but just because it's it's easy to say, yeah, just be disciplined. Just do just just do what you say you're gonna do. Like it's easier to say it, obviously, than do. Yeah. It. It's these little things that build that discipline, like waking up on time and then making your bed and then doing the same thing, doing having a routine. Can you differentiate the term discipline from motivation? And how does motivation, how does motivation affect discipline? I think motivation is, is good, but you can't rely on it. Yeah. You have to build, use that motivation to build a routine. When you get motivated to do something, build a routine with that motivation and that will lead to discipline. Like. Oh my gosh. 
Go on. Oh, you're good. There's another team up here. Yeah. Um, but there are days where like you don't want, you're not gonna want to do these things. Like it's not, like it's no secret that doing the right thing is not always fun. It's not doing what you need to do is not always pretty. No doubt, dude. Taking the taking the right path, dude, and doing the right thing is always probably I want to say 99 percent the harder choice in yeah. life. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's but you have to realize that and like motivation is what's gonna take you from one place to like a it'll, it'll give you a burst of energy, a burst of like feeling to do the right thing, but you're not always gonna have that motivation. So building that discipline yeah. is what's gonna ultimately benefit you, you know yeah what I mean? and i like what you said how you can't rely on it it's not you know a reliable feeling not at all you have to rely on discipline talk to anybody who's who's really like successful they do the little things right they obviously nobody's perfect nobody's a hundred percent doing every single thing right but the more things that, the more little things you do right you'll see it add up at the end of the day you'll see the little things turn into big things you know what i mean absolutely but one thing i've also like realized bro like just be i'm just gonna be myself all the time bro as much as i like like I, I like i'm not gonna lie some of these podcasts i've been trying to like like you like i was just saying like i'm trying to put this answer out like mm -hmm. i'm just being myself now you know what i mean like Dude, that's, I think that's one of, the, if, if not, one of the most important life lessons I've learned in my time is, mm. you know, you can't, you can't fake mm. who you are. You can't fake yeah. auth authenticity. And, like, the more authentic yeah. you are, the better relationships you're going to have, the better relationship yeah. with God you're going to have, the overall, you know, presence and, and just who you are as a person and the impact you have on life is gonna feel authentic, is gonna feel more fulfilling. And it's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna be more rewarding at the end of the day. So I think that's one of the one of the most important things you can learn is just how to be authentic and how to be yourself. Did you just break a door? You said what? Did you just break through a door? Uh, I don't think so, no. I just did just now. Uh, I heard it. What that? Oh, my aim. Oh, my aim. Oh, my God. Hey, man, you, you got the job done. Got the job done. That's all that counts. Doesn't matter how the spiral looks as long as it gets there, you know? <laughs> is that like a QB saying? It is. Rodgers spins to his left. Comes underneath, and the pass is complete. It's on third and... seconds left the Packers are gonna have a chance to win it hmm. what did you say again I just said oh. making making the most of like make what you have of, that's what it was make the most right. of your situation yeah and I, I think making the most of your situation is a very big thing that sh everybody should take into their lives like because you can't stress over what you don't have you can only work with what you do obviously but if you it, it only causes unnecessary bad emotions to think about things that you don't have and not be grateful not be hmm. yeah. aware of things that you already do have in your life so i mean it's obviously a very like optimistic thing to say but it's it's definitely something that can be learned and and applied to life yeah, man, just having an attitude of gratitude in your daily life, in your daily SpongeBob practice, no doubt. SpongeBob is the GOAT. An attitude of gratitude. Gratitude? You've been wallowing in filth all morning. What could you possibly be grateful for? But yeah, nah. Living in gratitude and being grateful for the things you, you have, the people around you. And, and it's not always easy. We've all had tough times. We've all been through, mm -hmm. you know, some shit. So it's different for everybody. Nobody really knows what anyone's going through at any given moment, mm -hmm. but identifying what you have and being grateful, even just, you know, for the breath in our lungs is, is, is something you should always try to strive Valuable, to practice. Bro. Yeah. Valuable. Got two guys up here. All right. Cracked. Oh, 
cracked. Both cracked. Hands. Hey, Bro. Bro. Drop me money. Yeah. Nice. One's below him. Right below him. He's shooting at somebody up, up, up on the hill. So just. Oh, teammates over to the southwest. In the open. Oh, he's warning. He's slithering. He's slithering. Flying back in on his loot. Watch it, watch it left. I cracked one. I gotta redeploy token. That is really close. You have enough to buy me. Eight station mark. Kids there. Yeah. You can just rap, bro. I'm gonna try to slither in for you. Yeah. I just don't want to get sniped. Don't suicide it. Don't suicide it. What is that? Is that a perk? The snake shit? Serpentine. Give me a dive back. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming down. I'm diving on that building. All right, sorry, I was really locked in. Yeah, you're good. I got a plate up, bro. I'm backing off this. I'm, I'm gonna back off a couple buildings. I got sniped. I'm sniping. Yeah, wearing white. Oh, oh wait, it was definitely not the move. Poor character decision. Clear it before we do it. Oh, kids, kiss to the right of the balloon. Oh no, that one's fine. You're fucking best. There's a dirty right there. You got it? Yep. Got it uh, I really don't know how to play this Kids now. might be out at this bur this birthday. Aren't these the kids that were? Yeah, probably maybe the top of the hill. Uh, no, that's a different color birthday. It's a different color. You want to grab five. it for late game? Yeah, I think you do. It's healthy. All right, I'll let you rock it. No, I'm going to go just... Hey, yep, on top of the hill. I'm wrapping right a little bit. Try to get a different angle. Alright, play the birthday, play the birthday. They're, they're, they're destroying it. Oh, no. Shots. You knocked them both? Yeah. What? Let's go, bro. We gotta win this game. <laughs> oh, my God. GG's, bro. What the fuck? We tried. Maybe next episode we'll get the win. <laughs> Maybe next episode. Maybe next episode. <laughs>